Good afternoon, I'm Lee Anderson. In less than a month, Deschutes County will change the way it responds to calls about someone in crisis. Some will be handled entirely by a crisis team with no law enforcement officers involved. Blake Mayfield breaks down what the response will look like. Blake? 17 people will be dedicated primary responders with funding for the positions coming from the Deschutes County Sheriff's Office and the City of Bend. The program's manager, Adam Goggins, feels that it's the right time for the team's next step. It's been a public health crisis that we've responded to with a public safety response. We want to change that to a public health crisis being responded to with a public health response. The Deschutes County Mobile Crisis Assessment Team is ready for a new role. Starting May 1st, staff will be available 24-7, 365 days a year, responding to mental health calls. Maybe they're experiencing suicidal thoughts or homicidal thoughts or, or having a substance abuse crisis or any other kind of crisis, uh, but aren't in immediate danger. They're not you know, actively trying to harm themselves or harm someone else. If a call involves someone who is an immediate threat to themselves or others, police will still respond. Certain red line items that we have that we just absolutely can't go out on, but for the most part, it's going to be based on the clinical discretion of some of our staff members. So if we have an active safety risk or an active safety threat, so say someone has a weapon or there's an active situation that's going on, um, law enforcement is still going to be responding to those. Multiple state grants, along with national funding, have helped make this version of the crisis team possible. The Oregon Health Authority has, has uh, contributed some funding to help us to support the rollout of this initiative. The Bureau of Justice Assistance that has provided a grant, SAMHSA has provided a grant that, that we're operating under that has kind of helped to support this initiative overall. One thing that won't change in times of crisis is a person being on the other end of the line instead of an automated response. Anytime someone calls 911 and that gets dispatched to us, they're going to get someone there. They're going to have someone that's available to respond to. Bend police responded to nearly 1,900 mental health and suicide related calls in 2022. Oftentimes when someone is picked up, they're taken to the Deschutes County Stabilization Center, where a specially equipped room allows them to decompress. Blake Mayfield, News Channel 21.